Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk about ServiceNow and Microsoft Project and importing and exporting back and forth between the two applications. Now, you may not have known this, but you can export a project from ServiceNow to two types of formats. You can do an XML file or you can do um, a Microsoft Project. So if I do Export Project, you'll see here my options are MS Project or XML. Now XML is going to be like a ServiceNow XML format. So it's going to be structured so you could take that entire project and bring it into another ServiceNow instance. The MS Project export option is also going to do an XML file, but it's going to be in a format that is uh, consumable where you can open up using Microsoft Project that XML file. Now I have another video, I'll link to it above over there, um, that actually shows how to um, open an XML file in my Microsoft Project, and I use this ServiceNow example. But once you have it exported, let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Project, and I wanna show you something. So this is the project in Microsoft Project, instead of it being in ServiceNow, this is what it looks like. And what ServiceNow did, if we add a new column to this, let's go look at text number 10. Um, text number 10 is going to be the sys ID of these tasks within micro within service now so I'm in Microsoft project but I have a sys ID of the tasks in service now so if I do something like let's say this evaluation and recommendations we're just going to change this um, and we'll just do change the name of it to demo for the world to see and I'm going to click OK and I'm just gonna save that. This should save back to that XML file. So we're just gonna save as, and I'm gonna put it in the same folder, and I'm gonna change this to um, not a Microsoft Project file, but also XML. Actually, let me save this to a Microsoft Project file. I'm gonna hit save there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that import um, from Microsoft Project feature within ServiceNow. Now notice on my initiating phase, evaluation and recommendations, it hasn't changed yet. I'll hit refresh just so you can see it there. And now I'm gonna go to the upper right and we're gonna use that functionality um, here on the, the ellipsis, the dot, 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 to import from Microsoft Project. So we're gonna choose the file and that file is gonna be located in my downloads here. So we'll just go into project and I see two files. I see the XML file um, that I use to pass back and forth, but I also see this MPP file, which is the one I want. Now I can choose calculation mode for that automatic or manual. I'm just gonna leave it be for demo purposes as we're gonna import. And what we'll see, because those sys IDs were in Microsoft Project, they're actually just gonna update the tasks in service now on the existing project rather than creating a new one. So notice I'm in my same project that I was in before, Acme to Workday, uh, payroll automation, and look, I've got my updated task with the new description on it, demo for the world to see. So if I go back out to my homepage on Project Workspace here, I just wanna show you that we didn't duplicate the project by importing it again, it did it in the existing one. So I'm just gonna search for Workday, and we see we've got this Acme Workday to payroll automation. There's no duplicates, it's just one project. And within that one project, I have that updated field. Now, when might you want to use this? Well, a lot of us are working with different vendors or partners, um, maybe a particular person who doesn't have ServiceNow, they're not licensed for ServiceNow, but they have Microsoft Project, or a vendor provides you with the Microsoft Project file. Now you can share updates back and forth using this import-export capability rather than having to you know, take care of user access or you know, do stuff like that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.